Nicole Scott here for Mobile Geeks. I am at the motorway just outside of Las Vegas and I'm about to see a partially autonomous truck stop. So it's getting up to about 35 miles an hour or 70 kilometers an hour and you'll see it here detect this barrier and then come to a complete stop. So now it's actually done this using radar technology and a bunch of cameras. So this is actually an SEA level two autonomous truck. And this is one of the first times that we're seeing this technology come onto the market. You'll feel that in this, in this experience, that three seconds, the first second you'll hear the, the acoustic warning. Um, the second second you'll feel us go to parcel and the third second you'll, you'll see that nose of the tractor dip down and you'll feel that pull. Okay. okay? When we get into those cones, I will take my foot off the throttle and I'll put it on the floor. The truck will do it, do the rest. Okay. Everybody good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was a completely full trailer coming to a stop real quick. Now, it's amazing on the inside when you're driving up how small the car is and then just when the warning light comes on and then when the brakes are applied, you actually think that you're going to brake too late, but it's bringing, bringing 80,000 pounds to a stop in a hurry. This is a really cool technology that I can't wait to see onto the road. It's starting to come onto the streets in the U.S. as of this year, which is why they've launched the Cascadia here at CES. So, automotive technology and commercial vehicles heading our way. I'm your host, Nicole Scott, for Mobile Geeks.